Hey, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and this is a the first video in a series of a few called Lightroom Logistics, and it's just a series going over some of the basic things of Lightroom, things you need to know, like sorting out your collections. I'll show you how I do mine. That's what this first video is about. Um, keywording, importing photos, and a whole range of other things that are really basic but really important to learn. And once you have learnt them. They're really helpful in implement in sorting out all your photos and really making Lightroom work for you and work in the best way possible. So this first video is actually about um, sorting your photos into collections and doing it automatically. So this is how I personally sort my photos into the uh, ones that I really like and the ones that I've edited. Um, and how I do that is I do that through Smart Collections, which you can see here. So once I keyword a, a photo, um, it will come up in one of these smart collections if I've use if I'm using that uh, particular keyword that goes into one of these ones here. So I'm going to show you how I set them up. Um, so there's two ways. So under collections, you can either click the little drop down and click create smart collection. Or the easy way, just right click on Smart Collections and create Smart Collections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out some firework photos. So I'll, I'll just call it Fireworks. And inside a collection set, so it goes under this little Smart Collections banner. And what I want to do is, by default it comes up as All. I want to change that to meet any of the following requirements. So in this drop down menu, you've got so many options to choose from. Got things like rating, pick flag, label color, and so much more. I'll let you go through and uh, sort out the ones uh, that you want to use, things like that. Um, so the way that I'm going to do mine is by keywords. So I keyword the photos that I edit and export um, so that they do go into these smart collections. I can find them easily and I can also search for them. That's going to be another video in the series. Uh, so what we do want to do is when we go into keywords, it comes up with this list of options. So what I want to do is I want to go contains and then you put in your keyword here. So I want to do firework. And if, for example, by some weird chance that I decide to create a new label for some strange reason, what I'll do is I will go and put that into, I will put fireworks into uh, the keyword. So if either firework or fireworks is put as a uh, keyword on the photo um, in the library, then it will still come up in in one of the smart collections. So what I'll do is I'll simply click create, and now as you can see, it's come up with 28 photos that I have keyworded and put into that collection. So um, just to show you how it works, I'm going to go into some photos that I haven't saved. Uh, haven't keyworded as yet, sorry. So I'll go into this one and as you can see there's no keyword. As soon as I click firework as one of my keyword suggestions, it comes up in there. So now we'll go into there and there's the photo. Along with all these other firework photos that are here. So I hope you enjoy this quick tutorial. Um, please follow along, subscribe. Um, there are a few more in the series coming up so make sure that you watch them. Um, hopefully you can pick up a few little tips and tricks on how to do uh, some of these really easy and, um, but sometimes complex to learn um, little bits of um, little bits of sorting out and uh, easy things to do that you can um, make life easier in Lightroom. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, let me know what you thought, and subscribe. Um, I will be posting a link to the next video in the top right-hand corner. So keep an eye out for that.